Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice math problem involving roots from here? We have root 15 plus root 35 plus root 21 plus 5. Then all divide by root 3 plus 2 root 5 plus root 7. Here, let's work with the numerator first. From the numerator, what we have, we can simplify that. That is, we have root 15 plus root 35 plus root 21 then plus 5 here we can write this as root 15 can be written as root 3 times 5 then we have plus root here we can write 35 as 5 times 7 and then plus here we have root 21 that's 3 times 7 then plus here 5 can be written as root 5 times root 5. And then from here, when we separate this, this will give us root 3 times root 5. Then plus root 5 times root 7. Then plus root 3 times root 7. Then plus root 5 times root 5. Then from here, let's group the one with root 3 together. So we have root 3 times root 5. Then we have plus root 3 times root 7. Then we have root 5 plus root 5 times root 7. Then plus root 5 times root 5. Then from here, we factor all this common out, and uh, here root 3 is common, so when we bring it out, we have root 3 into bracket root 5 plus root 7, then plus here we have root 5 common, so we have root, you know, 3. We have root 7 plus root 5 left here. And when we look at these two bracket, we have same thing there. Root 7 plus root 5, same thing as root 5 plus root 7. So that means we have root 5 plus root 7 common. So we factor it out. Then what is left here? We have times root 3 plus root 5 left. So that means the numerator is factored this way as this. Then also let's work with the denominator from there. We have root 3 plus 2 root 5 plus root 7. So that's our denominator. So from the denominator, we can also simplify that. And that's that's we have root 3 plus 2 root 5 plus root 7 and from here we can break 2 root 5 down as root 5 plus root 5 so this is root 3 plus root 5 plus root 5 then plus root 7 then we can just group this like this and then we group this together so here we take this for the denominator and the expression given now will now be written in another way as root 5, which is the numerator, plus root 7 multiplied by root 3 plus root 5. Then we now be divided by the denominator now, which is root 3 plus root 5. Then plus root 5 plus root 7. Then from here, let's represent this as a letter which is x here. Then we have root 5 plus root 7 common. So we can say let a letter be that. So let a be equal to root 5 plus root 7. And let b be equals to, we also have root 3 plus root 5 common. Let b be root 3 
plus root 5. Then from here, x will now become a times b, that's ab, over a plus b. So from there, over b come here, four, that's over b plus a. Then, we can then break this down into two fractions. From here, this will become x equals to ab over a plus b. So this will still be ab over a over b plus a, same thing. Now, if we want to be able to separate it, let's take the reciprocal from here. So we now turn this one upside down, then that will now be 1 over x here, which is equal to b plus a over a b now. So with this now, we can separate this into two fractions. Now we have 1 over x is now equal to b over a b, then plus a over a b. Now here b cancel out here. We have 1 over a left here, also a cancel out here. We have 1 over b left here. So we now have 1 over x now to be equal to 1 over a plus 1 over b. And don't forget, we represented a as something there, which is root 5 plus root 7. And also we represented b as something there. So we have 1 over x now to be equal to 1 over a, which is root 5 plus root 7 and plus 1 over b which is root 3 plus uh, root 5 there then from here rationalize each of these so let's rationalize this you know fourth one and from here we have 1 over root 5 plus root 7 and when you rationalize this you multiply by the conjugates of that's root 5 minus root 7 then over also times root 5 minus root 7 and when we solve from here this multiply each other we still have root 5 minus root 7 then divided by here our conjugate sort and this will give us 5 square then root 5 square that's 5 then minus root 7 square that's 7 then from here this same thing as root 5 minus root 7 over minus 2 and this minus we can we write this one here and the, the minus will cancel out when we have this can be written as root 7 minus root 5 now then over 2 now when we multiply through by minus then that means we have the first fraction here as same thing as root 7 minus root 5 over 2 then also we rationalize this one to we have 1 over root 3 plus root 5 and this will become 1 and then when we rationalize that let's just multiply by the conjugate and the conjugate here is root 3 minus root 5 then over root 3 minus root 5 as well so and when we multiply from here also, 1 times this will still give us root 3 minus root 5. And uh, here we divide by, also these are conjugates of, that's root 3 square, that's 3, minus root 5 square, that's 5. And here we give us root 3 minus root 5 over minus 2. And also when we multiply through by minus, from here this change to root 5 minus root 3 over so, and from there, we have the other part of this, you know, fraction here. So, we can then say that 1 over x will now be equal to, here, which has been rationalized, we have root 7 minus root 5 over 2. Then we have plus 
here now we have root 5 minus root 7 root, root 3 over 2 and this fraction now can be put together as one fraction the FPM here is still 2 then we have root 7 minus root 5 then plus root 5 minus root 3 that's 1 over x equals to this and from here root 5 minus root 5 plus root 5 cancel out and this gives us here we have 1 over x now to be equals to root 7 minus root 3 over 2 and since what we are finding here x so we are finding x here we can take the reciprocal again then this will be x equals to 2 over root 7 minus root 3 and here we have 2 over root 7 minus root 3 we can still rationalize again multiply by the conjugate sort here which is root 7 plus root 3 and also root 7 plus root 3 and this we multiply also this we multiply and from here we have x equals to here 2 times this will be 2 multiply by root 7 plus root 3 then over here we have conjugate sort also root 7 squared as 7 minus root 3 squared as 3 and this same thing as x will now be equals to 2 into bracket root 7 plus root 3 then over 4 so that 2 here 1 2 here will be 2 and therefore x from here will now be equals to root 7 plus root 3 over 2 and here we have uh, the simplified form of the given problem thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more exciting videos turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up see you in the next class then bye for now